<laughs> we've woken up and it's been a very clear night which is great because hopefully it means it'll be nice and sunny today but it also means we're very <laughs> cool we're just about to get some um, hot drinks on the way aren't we yes that's the mouse not, not figuring out the cooker porridge no put it in the bigger one the water the porridge, porridge water the... that one yeah Did you turn it on before you paused, Richard? Really? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, we're just leaving Champiax. I think that's how you say it. My French pronunciation is pretty terrible. Um, whew, we're both cold and our toes need a little defrosting but won't be long and we'll be heated up and it looks like it's going to be an awesome day look at this sweet building oh. these are like the um the refuges that people most people stay in who aren't camping camping most people don't camp Oh, because most people aren't crazy. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's just a chilly morning. Oh. oh no. Bird. Ooh. Right, we're just heading along this valley. I think we've got a reasonably flat start. And then we're climbing up. And today we cross into Switzerland. Italy. Italy. <laughs> Oops, jumping ahead a few days there. <sighs> Not sure if you can hear it, but there's like a, a herd of cattle down there, not cattle, cows, and um, they've all got their bells on. It's like a little chime service going on. <laughs> what would you call it? <laughs> Cowbell service then? Oh, the toes have defrosted, which is, <laughs> which means that we can feel pain again, but that is alright. We just had our first decent uh, like morning tea break and we did a lot of adjustments on the packs oh, to try and make it'll be a bit more comfortable. Been having a bit of trouble on the shoulder, left shoulder, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, anything to add? Nope. <laughs> see you in three hours up the top. <laughs> we've already, we've like zinked up, it's still cool, but the sun is coming out, so yeah. Off we go. Uh, I'm just at 2,089 meters. That's another route up that way. <sighs> but we've just done this zigzag down below. It's actually been good. Well, I've had a nice pace on, but um, we just stopped before. Oh, because my left shoulder is killing me. So I took some ibuprofen and put some like, kind of like anti-flame on it. It feels a bit better, which is good. I think it must be like just tight muscles because my right side is, is fine. So yeah, I was just saying to Nick, I'm not sure if you can see down there, there's a hut. There's a whole lot of little ants. I was like, 
Dominic, um, oh, you know, it's been, you know, reasonably quiet. Like, we've obviously had a few people pass us, but not as many as yesterday. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> these are going to be the crowds. <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes, well, I, it's, it's a little bit disconcerting when you've got all of these people passing you. But, yeah, dig it in. We chose this challenge, so who cares about those people? <sighs> oh. So we've got about just over 400 metres until the top. And you can see, well I don't know if you can, but in the distance there's a wee track. But yeah, pretty stunning views to contend with. Oh. to the day, end of day three and because we're in Italy there's a few like issues with camping so we had planned that we would stay in these refuges which are pretty amazing We've got a wee dorm room upstairs and we just had like an amazing like four course meal um, like a bruschetta risotto and then like pork with like beans and potatoes and then this amazing panna cotta oh. So good um, we also had showers, as you can see, I have nice clean hair. I feel nice and clean. Um, yeah, it's been a really good day. My shoulders are definitely bugging me, but I'm going to go rub some like, anti flame on them. And uh, yeah, we've got a decent day tomorrow, but it should make like the next three days not as big, so, so that's good. Yeah, all is well.